This is the Unify Express, and it's an interesting choice for a review from Hostify. In this video, we're going to see what comes in the box, run through the initial setup, and then do some quick speed tests to see what we're working with. At the end, we're also going to put it in AP mode and adopt it to our Hostify Unify controller. Hey, my name's Alex, welcome back to Hostify, and this is our look at the Unify Express. On the outset, it might seem that this is just another Unify Cloud Gateway, something that you'll be able to use to call a Unify OS console. While the UX can also be used for this purpose, it also can be used as a standalone Unify AP. You'll be able to debut the UX back in November 2023, and it's priced from $149 in the US, or around £120 in the UK. In the box, you get the device itself, a USB-C power supply, mine also shipped with a UK power supply, complete with the Ubiquiti branding, and a Ubiquiti Ethernet cable. This is one of their Unify patch leads with a flexible material to avoid breakages. These cables are great by the way, and they are available from the Ubiquiti store. The Unify Express is a small little device, the same size as the UXG Lite, but now with a 0.96 inch LCM screen, useful for showing traffic stats and connected clients. The back looks identical to the UXG Lite too, with two RJ45 gigabit ports, one being LAN and the other being WAN. Ubiquiti has tried to make this as cost effective as possible, so while the UX has got integrated Wi-Fi, it can also host the Unify network app and function as a gateway. However, it can only manage four additional Unify devices, switches and other APs, and then only connect 50 Wi-Fi clients to its integrated AP. Also, bear in mind that IDS and IPS are unavailable on this device. That AP, by the way, is Wi-Fi 6, with 2x2 MIMO on both 2.4 and 5 GHz. Ubiquiti says it can handle up to 2.4 gigs on 5 GHz, but as usual, this is just an aggregate number. The UX just takes standard USB-C power, and to get started, plug in your internet connection. Ubiquiti advises to use the Unify mobile app, but instead I opted to plug my Mac directly into the LAN port. Internet works out the box, which is nice, and just the pre-warning, the UX has a 192.168.0 slash 24 subnet pre-configured and hands out DHCP in that scope. So my advice is to set this up as an isolated device and then drop it into an existing setup. Simply navigate to 192.168.0.1 to get this page up. Before we get started, the UX came with 3.1.26 out of the box, and this resulted in some weird setup gremlins. Namely, it wouldn't even let me log in using my Ubiquiti SSO account. It kept giving me this error message. Instead, I opted to set up a local account first, and then upgrade the software to Unify OS 3.2.5, and then go through the lengthy process of adding my SSO account afterwards, and then transferring the ownership back to myself. Once that section has now been finished, we can look at what the GUI for the UX looks like. Everything looks pretty standard. The UX only runs the one Unify application and seems to be working at an okay speed. The boot time of the UX is super slow. Here it is sped up. In standalone mode, the Unify Express becomes a true all-in-one. It is the Unify Cloud Gateway with support for all those related features, including Site Magic and more. Just bear in mind that IDS and IPS aren't even an option on the UX. One of the highlight features of the Unify Express is the AP mode. I do fully appreciate that the main selling point of the device is for a small apartment or flat, or maybe even a slightly larger home. But if you do happen to have one of these devices, they can be adopted to a cloud-hosted Unify controller, such as Hostify. This process took a fair amount of time to sort of nail down, but in short, the Unify Express doesn't support the set inform commands we're accustomed to, and the web GUI setup doesn't even let you point it to an external controller. The process to get it adopted is to have another Unify AP online and adopted with meshing enabled, and then turn on the UX and it will appear ready for adoption over Wi Fi. The Unify Express can also function as a wired Unify IP, but it has to be set up via Wi Fi first. Simply plug it into the same network and the UX will automatically reconfigure itself to become a wired AP. For the speed testing, the Unify Express is actually pretty capable. I've got this set up with a channel width of 160 megahertz on five gigahertz. And as you can see, we're seeing speeds of over 900 megabits up and down. In terms of where I see this fitting in within the Unify lineup, it seems a bit of an odd choice to use it as a wired Unify AP, but it is good that it does have this option. The lack of PoE is the main reason, and you'll have to power it separately. I think it might work well in a one-person home, but nothing more than that. So what do you think of the new Unify Express? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this sort of video, don't forget to subscribe to the Hostify YouTube channel, like this video to let others know that you did, and if you need network consulting, we have Hostify Pro with Expert ready to help you out. Visit the website hostify.com forward slash pro for more info. We also do hosting of Unify, USP, and TP Link Armada. Check out the website to get started. I have chosen some videos you might want to watch next. 
At the top is an overview of the new UK Ultra access point, and at the bottom is my solar point installation. To subscribe, click down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.